in your first career start? Um, not the best, obviously. Um, there's some good, there's some bad. I uh, just got to learn from it and get better. Uh, obviously, I wish I would have played better, uh, given us a better chance to win, but got to move on from it now. So, How much difference has practice been for you since the start, since you had that game experience like that? Um, it, it honestly hasn't been too much different, obviously. A little more reps here and there, but um, it's, it's kind of remained the same. That's the thing. It, it shouldn't change too much. Uh, Coach Detmer does a good job of kind of preparing everybody. What were your nerves like before the Wisconsin game? Um, obviously, I wasn't totally calm. I was a little bit anxious about it. Um, I think that showed on the first throw. But, uh, you know, obviously, once I got out there after the first drive, I kind of settled in and felt a lot better about it. You've got some time to think about your performance. What are the things you're focused on to maybe get better and just move forward? I think it just comes with the week of preparation. Um, you can study film a lot more. You know, we talked about that as a team. There's just a lot more we can do individually. Um, um, extra time in the weight room, extra time watching film, things of that nature. Um, that'll help correlate to what we want to do on the field. What about you specifically, though, with your play? Is, is there something that you watch on film like, oh, i got to get that um, You know, not necessarily. It's, it's all the little things, you know. There's, it's hard to dive into all the little things that there are, but, you know, footwork, things of that nature. Sorry about that. Um, you just have to focus on every little thing. You know, I think it's that comes with uh, you know, playing, you have to just focus on the little details. When did you feel like you were in a grove in that Wisconsin game? The second drive felt really good. Um, you know, the second half felt like you threw the ball a little better. That, that drive right before halftime felt like a good drive. Um, but obviously, you know, we were a little sporadic. You know, there were some, some good drives that we had three and outs to follow it up with. So we just got to be more consistent, and that starts with me. Do you feel like your ability to run helps you or hurts you more you know, with the, the, the offense that Ty wants to run? Um, you know, I think it, it can do both. Obviously, I had some, some, some plays against Wisconsin where I was trying to do a little too much with my legs. Um, you just got to know when to say die. Uh, but then there's some plays that I felt like I, I made that um, you know were helpful to the team and things like that. It's just uh, I got to be smart about it. How's Tanner been? Just just helping you, maybe coaching you. Yeah, yeah. Tanner's awesome. He's one of my best friends. So he's been there every step of the way. Um, you know, we talk every day, watch film together, things of that nature. So he's been a big support to me. How has the offense changed with you under center? Uh, obviously, we do a little bit more zone read stuff of that nature. Um, other than that, we're trying to keep our, our base stuff the same, but you know, did a little more shotgun. We didn't do any other center against Wisconsin. Um, that's kind of the, the main difference so far. Your dad was an analyst for ESPN for a long time. Mm -hmm. Does he change it always analyzing your game versus what he did like on TV or whatnot? Uh, yeah, absolutely. He turns into a dad, that's for sure. Um, I think he was more nervous before the game than I was. <laughs> but uh, no, he's, he does a good job. He, he tries to build me up and things of that nature. He does a good job. What was his advice after the game, or what was his key kind of message? Yeah, I don't. He turned into a dad at that point. He was just proud of me. He, he doesn't. He's not critical or anything like that. So he was just happy for me. You know, good experience. Got to learn from it. Get better. What were your practice reps percentage wise when you were the backup? Um, I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. Obviously, less than what it's been for right now. Um, I don't have a percentage on that. How beneficial was the bye week for not only you as a quarterback, but for the entire offense? Yeah, it's been good. You know, obviously, had time to kind of everybody heals up a little bit. Um, uh, we watched that over and over again. Kind of focus in on the little things, the little mistakes that we made in Wisconsin game. Was extra time to prepare for this upcoming game. Um, kind of the same as for any team. It's just beneficial to have extra time. We've heard about the players only meeting mm -hmm. last Monday. What's the confidence been like of the offense since that meeting? That's been good, you know. Obviously, we want to we want to perform better. Um, we feel like we've had a good week of practice so far. Uh, we had a good bye week. Um, you know, it's it's growing. Obviously, we got to put put the confidence on the field um, in order for that to really translate. Though. With how phys physical Wisconsin was, how did you come away from that game health wise? No, uh, I I'm, I feel good. I feel good after the game, especially with the bye week. What do you expect from Utah State this week? Um, obviously, in-state opponent. Um, they're always really tough. A uh, bunch of hard, hard-nosed guys play really hard. Um, that's kind of what we expect. Um, schematics, and things of that nature. Those are probably more for a coach to talk, to talk about. With the coaching staff away last week during the recruiting, did you kind of take an effort to leave practice while they were gone? Yeah, we, we did have a little bit of you know, player-run practices. Um, there were still coaches around. Uh, they kind of 
so we got to their yeah, road trips. Then. So there were still coaches around to help with that. But uh, yeah, we absolutely tried to take charge and kind of, you know, run that show. Utah State's got a pretty good secondary, a couple of really good safeties back yeah. there. Is that something that you're taking notice of as a signal caller? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you do that for any team, though. You kind of see who their guys are, and Utah State definitely has a really good secondary. They they play the run really well, and they, uh, they play the ball really well. Um, so, yeah, we definitely take note of that. Um, try to try to find ways to, you know, execute and make good plays. How different is it to make the reads on the field than when you're watching? Because you got that experience, you know, but Ty's offense a lot relies on the reads that you yeah. make as a quarterback. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's a lot different. Uh, it's different when you got four 300-pound guys trying to come attack you. That changes the game for sure. Uh, happens a little bit faster, but I felt like, you know, my first game, it, I kind of settled in after a little while. Felt a little better about it. Game starts to slow down, so I'm hoping that translates over um, to this week if I'm needed. I said the goal is to be able to give you or Tanner, whoever's the quarterback, more uh, more freedom to be able to make those reads and do what you're comfortable with, just yeah. be able to play, having that one game and now the improvement that, you know, hopefully you're seeing in practice. Do you feel like, you know, you can take on a little bit more in that sense? Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, Ty, Ty does things that are comfortable for me and, you know, comfortable for Tanner. He kind of plays to our strengths. So I do feel a lot better about that. No, so I, I really didn't know about this rivalry, the Utah rivalry, okay. anything. But obviously now in my my third year here at BYU, I, I understand. What do you what do you make of that? Um, I mean it's like any rivalry. Uh, you know, it's intense. Obviously both teams are fighting hard. Um, I don't know. I don't have like a personal opinion on it or anything. I don't I don't hate Utah State or I don't even hate Utah or anything. Like that. I just I want to win every game, so they're the next opponent. Have you had the chance to reach out to any new former quarterbacks? Have they reached out to you to maybe talk to you and give you advice? Yeah, I, I still talk to Taysom a lot, so he's he's had some, some wise words for me, some help. Um, obviously, Tanner is still around. He's, he's been really helpful. Um, so those have been too. How important is it just to get some momentum and get rid of them? Uh, it's crucial, obviously. You know, you kind of saw our second drive against Wisconsin. We felt like we had no momentum. Um, you know, penalty on, on me with the delay game kind of stopped that momentum in its tracks, ended in a field goal. I think, um, you know, a touchdown opposed to a field goal can really change things. And do that games, obviously. That's the plan versus Utah State, uh, whether it's me or Tanner, to do our very best to score touchdowns early and hopefully get the ball rolling. Last one for both. Yeah.